Hello! Today we're going to make a review of a new SDG5000 series of waveform generators from Cycland. The series is represented by three models. SDG5082 model with maximum output signal frequency of 80 MHz, SDG5122 model with maximum output signal frequency of 120 MHz, and SDG5162 model with maximum output signal frequency of 160 MHz. All the models are dual channel. Maximum sample rate is 500 MHz. And now more details about the device itself. The package contains only several items. Apart from the generator, it includes a user manual, CD with software and drivers, power cable and a USB cable. The device is rather compact. The dimensions are traditional for such equipment. It has a transportation handle, which may be used as a convenient and reliable stand. Let's have a look at the controls and connectors. The front panel houses a color TFT display, a power button, a USB input, controls, and outputs of channels 1 and 2. The output of channel 1 is combined with a frequency meter. The back panel houses reference signal output, external modulation source connector, 10 MHz reference signal input and output, and external trigger source connector, USB interface for PC connection, grounding connector, and a power line connector. The device may be powered from AC voltage source from 100 to 240 volts. Let's switch on the generator. I remind you that it has two output channels. It is on. Let's generate a sine waveform with 4 volts peak-to-peak -peak signal and 1 kHz frequency. We need to switch on the channel 1 output. It is on and we may observe the signal. To change the output signal parameters, you need to press the parameters button on the generator. And here we may adjust the frequency, peak-to-peak -peak amplitude, offset and phase offset. Let's change the frequency to 2 kHz. The following waveforms are available. Sine, square, triangle, pulse, noise, as well as preset arbitrary waveforms, there is a lot of them, about 30. Let's choose one of them, one of the forms of exponential curve. You may also select a preliminary saved waveform, either transform it from the USB device or from a PC via USB input on the back panel. The modulation mode. We switch it on. The following options are available. Amplitude modulation. Frequency modulation. Phase modulation. Frequency shift modulation. Amplitude shift key. Double sideband amplitude modulation. Let's overview a sweep mode. We set the sweep time to 3 seconds. The start frequency is 1 kHz and the end frequency is 5 kHz. We may observe the frequency change from 1 to 5 kHz during 3 seconds on the oscilloscope screen. There is also a pulse mode. You may select the pulse form and other parameters. For example, we choose square wave. 
Now we are going to demonstrate the generator operation in dual channel mode. Both channels are working now. One generates a 1 kHz square wave. The second generates a 3 kHz triangle wave. You may adjust the signal frequency, for instance, 8 or 9 kHz. And you may change the amplitude as well, decrease or increase it. So, let's see how the generator displays the main waveforms of different frequencies. We start from the leading model 5162. Watch a 1 kHz sign. A 1 MHz sign. Peak to peak 4 volts. A 10 MHz sign. A 50 MHz sign. A 100 MHz sign. And a 160 MHz sign. The amplitude decreases as expected. Now have a look at the square wave. A 50 MHz square wave. to the fact that the maximum frequency of the generator is 160 MHz, the 50 MHz square wave has significant distortions as you may witness. A 30 MHz square wave. A 20 MHz square wave. It is better. A 10 MHz square wave. Further the wave is more correct. A 2 MHz square wave and a 1 MHz square wave. Now we want to check the waveforms that may be produced by SDG5122. I remind that the maximum output frequency is 120 MHz. So, a 1 MHz sign. A 10 MHz sign. This beeper may be disabled. A 50 MHz sign. The amplitude remains stable. An 80 MHz sign. A 100 MHz sign. A 110 MHz sign. The amplitude decreases. And a 120 MHz sign. Next the square waveform. A 1 MHz square wave. A 5 MHz square wave. A 10 MHz square wave. A 15 MHz square wave. It is a little bit distorted. 20 MHz twenty five MHz thirty MHz thirty five MHz forty MHz as expected is it more like a sine wave? The third model is SDG5082. The maximum output frequency is 80 MHz. We generate a 1 MHz sign, a 5 MHz sign, a 10 MHz sign, 30 MHz, 50 MHz, 60 MHz. 70 MHz and 80 MHz. It is the maximum frequency. And the square waveform 30 MHz, 
25 megahertz, 20 megahertz, 15 megahertz, 10 megahertz, and the lower the better it looks like, 4 megahertz, and 1 megahertz square wave. As you may see, the cycling company managed to create a rather interesting device due to a wide range of output frequencies and two channels, as well as high sample rate up to 100 MHz. It is important that the product price is rather affordable. It is lower than that of its competitors.